Australia is not real, it is a hoax. They want us to believe that Britain moved over their criminals to some place. In reality, all these criminals were loaded off the ships into the waters, drowning before they could see land ever again. It is a cover-up for one of the great mass murders in history, made by one of the most prominent empires. Australia does not exist. I don't know, it feels pretty real, eh? I don't know, man, CGI is getting pretty good. It could all be fake. All things you call proof are actually well-fabricated lies and documents made by the leading governments of the world. Your Australian friends, they're all actors and computer-generated personas, part of the plot to trick the world. If I'm an actor, I deserve a fucking Oscar, because I absolutely nail being Australian. <laughs> if you think you've ever been to Australia, you're terribly wrong. The plane pilots are all in on this, and have in all actuality only flown you to islands close nearby, or in some cases, parts of South America, where they have cleared space and hired actors to act out as real Australians. Australia is not real. It is a code word for the cold-blooded murder of more than 100,000 people, and it is not okay. We will not accept this. Stand up for the ones who died. Let it be known that Australia does not exist. Australia is not real, hashtag. Yeah, um... I don't know, I feel pretty real. All right, in case you couldn't tell, today's learning with laser beam, put the glasses on, act smart. Today's learning with laser beam is all about crazy people, as usual. Yeah, apparently, uh, we're back on flat earthers. You know, the people that think the earth is a disc. Yeah, they now apparently believe Australia is fake. It's a big movement sweeping across the flat earth intellectuals. Because, you know, you know what's a really smart thing to do? When people already think you're an absolute bloody moron, you should double down and come up with something even stupider. How about one of its most prominent nations doesn't exist? Unless I am actually secretly lying to you. I could be a spy, a, gov a government actor spy CGI man. This video is to throw you off the scent. According to the Daily Mail, uh, I don't actually want to spend too much time reading the Daily Mail, they're kind of insane. Uh, but there is now a sweeping movement. Flat Earthers truly believe that Australia does not exist. Apparently this world map confirms Australia is not real. All you've done is Photoshop away Australia, like, what does that prove? I can, I can, I can replace America with a giant picture of the Queen's face. That doesn't mean the Queen owns America anymore. You can't just make shit up. You can't do it. I could understand Americans that hear this and go, well, I've never actually been to Australia. It could be fake. But I fucking live here. I've left and come back multiple times. I can't even fathom this shit. There's a, there's a forum thread from the Flat Earth Society in 2007 that started off the whole Australia is not real phenomenon. It's quite, it's quite interesting. Most of you have probably been brought up believing in the imaginary land called Australia. I bet many of you have even learned about it in school. I'm here to tell you the truth. Well, the fact is that Australia doesn't really exist. We're not entirely sure why the government made up an imaginary continent or why it is trying to convince the world that this continent is real. But we can tell you that we know for a fact that Australia does not really exist. We don't know why it's fake, but it is fake. A decade. A decade this has been going on. Like, I'm sure these guys have got to be sarcastic. I can literally go outside and see it. It's literally out there. So YouTube, right? How does YouTube tie into this? Well, YouTube gives everyone a platform to sit in a chair and say the dumbest shit in the world. It's it's my entire career, but at least I don't say Australia isn't real. But there is some people on YouTube that do say Australia isn't real. And we, we have to watch them. Hey guys, I've been having a crisis lately. That's, that's a good way to start a video. Hey guys, I've been having a crisis. Help. It's about lies that the government may have given us or whatever and my question to you all is does australia really exist i have seen so many things so many movies about australia and books and stuff but i don't read books um, we should definitely be listening to this girl we definitely should. but i don't read books but i don't read books and i've never actually met anyone from australia i live in the middle of america but i've never met an australian that means it's fake Jesus Christ. Have you ever met someone from Australia? She's got to be joking, right? Like she she can't be this can't be serious. Like this has to be this has to be fake. 
I can't watch anymore. She's she's given me brain disease. By mentioning the words Vegemite, Australians, uh, kangaroo, and uh, Australia in the same sentence as any variation on the word to be, is, was, are, am, or... You, what you're doing is validating the entire myth. You're propagating the myth of Australia as a real place on the planet. Because it's not. Australia doesn't exist. Why am I scared? Why am I scared? If you say the word Vegemite, you're reinforcing the myth that Australia exists. Hey! Jeez, like, fucking chill, dude. Chill. Australians don't exist. None of this is real. You're propagating a myth spread by the other subjects of the colonial British Empire. You understand this, right? I mean, how can you take it seriously? And they have giant, bouncy bats with pouches and big feet that give birth to live slugs that crawl up their ankles and jump in the pouch, and then nine months later, you got a little baby tarantula that pops out or something. I mean, it sounds like this guy has been to Australia. How does he believe it's not real? He absolutely nailed what all our animals look like. There's a, there's a, there's a bat with giant feet that gives birth to a slug that becomes a tarantula. That's how it works. It sounds like he's been here. What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god. It's not real. It is not real. Australia does not exist. This guy sounds British, and honestly, I think he's just mad that he has to, he got stuck on that crappy old rock. We got this beautiful paradise. I think you're just mad. You're just salty, eh? It isn't real. Jesus, can't get that through your thick skulls. Get over it. It's not a real place. I like how everything I've seen so far, no one's given literally any evidence. Nothing. They've just yelled at me and said it's fake. You claim it was discovered by Captain Cook. You know what that sounds like to me? It sounds as legit as Captain Hook, as Captain Birdseye, and Colonel Sanders. Fun fact about Captain Cook. He got eaten. Went to the wrong island in the Pacific, got eaten. Yes, what a tragic, tragic end to his story. Have you ever heard of anywhere else with... So many deadly animals and strange looking different things that are nowhere else in the world. Africa has lions, it's got rhinos, it's got hippos, it's got giraffes. Well, but you can't find them anywhere else. I guess that means Africa ain't being real. Just dismantling your argument. Oh no, buddy. I went to Australia, it isn't real. This is part two of, of whatever the hell we just witnessed. When people go to Australia, they're actually landing in New Zealand and they are drugged. They imagine all of the experiences there. And there was a point during the journey where I started to feel tripping. And I started seeing things almost in my head and in front of me, especially it was, and it, by the time we landed, it was fully heightened. Mate, as someone who has done the flight from America to Australia like 15 times, I wish I had substances in my body that made me imagine shit. This sounds like a good time. I wish there was an option. That's when I started seeing things as well. I was almost having visions. And some of the visions I saw, I saw vast deserts, vast open uh, areas. Uh, I saw some kangaroos hopping around. I saw a man uh, cutting off a snake's head. No, that wasn't a vision. That was just Bazza. Bazza, Bazza likes doing that, eh? We, try, we tell him to stop. We tell him it's cruel. He just, Bazza goes and just, he does it anyway. He just cuts their heads off. And that is my personal anecdotal experience of what happens when you get on a plane to go to Australia. And hopefully now you people in the comments on my uh, Australia doesn't exist video will let up a little. Yeah, we're gonna let up now that you just came up with that amazing story. Jesus, this guy, ah, oh, aneurysm. I'm having an aneurysm. I just can't. I just, I can't. No, I can't. What's more believable? Australia doesn't exist or the New Zealand government is capable of drugging people for the last couple hundred years to convince you Australia doesn't exist. No one gave me any evidence. This guy didn't even give pictures of the plane. No evidence. But let's believe him because he shouts at me. Actually, believe me because I'm shouting at you. All right, well, this was the most depressing learning with laser beam ever. The human race doesn't deserve existence. It doesn't. It's all over. Let's blow it up. All right. Your favorite Australian CGI computer generated actor man in South America is now signing off. You figured it out. I've been exposed. <laughs> You're all a bunch of bloody legends. I hope you enjoyed your class today. The homework is going to be how do I not become like this guy? That's the homework today. I'll see you, fellas, later. And as always, cheers, fellas. <laughs>